Next up, we have basic geoprocessing, and one of the most commonly used things is the clip. So you might have noticed this takes a long time to draw. If I'm only working in these four townships, I might as well clip out those data so I only look at these. So first, let's use this Select Features tool, and then let's click Hold Drag Release, and that selects those four. Say I've made a mistake, I can click off anywhere here and try again. I can click once. You see clicking here gives me each one of those. Dragging across that border gives me two. Dragging across all four gives me those four. Now, under Vector, Geoprocessing Tools, Clip, I have the input layer. And I want that to be the thing that I am clipping. And I have to go each one of these layers at a time, but right now I just want streams. So let's clip the streams to the main township 24 shorelines. That's what this grid is in the white dash lines. And I want to use only the selected features to do that. So I selected these four, and I would like to clip the streams to that four township area. This is basically taking a cookie cutter where this yellow thing is the cookie cutter and the streams layer is the cookie dough. So let's go ahead and run that, and it's going to create a temporary layer. I can give it a place to save here, or I can just make sure I like it first and then save it later if I do. So, run. No spatial index exists for input layer performance will be severely degraded. Okay, close. But it's done what we need it to do, so we have a new streams layer. And that is covering just that area. I can click off here, deselect that, or deselect features. I can turn off my old streams layer. And let's uncheck those roads. And we see that that is just the streams for that area. So I've clipped those out.